where they need to go, and when they need to get there. Across the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, we're investing billions of dollars in transforming public transit and building new roads. We're making transportation more accessible and more affordable for everyone. Earlier this month, Premier Ford and Associate Minister Thanagaslam announced the One Fare program. Starting February 26th, riders will only need to pay once when transferring between the TTC, GO Transit, and other transit agencies across the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area. At a time where people across the province feel like they're struggling to get ahead, we're putting money back into their pockets right where it belongs. One fare is estimated to save commuters an average of $1,600 a year. This is a game changer for anybody who takes transit in the GTA and a part of our plan to make life more affordable. We know transportation is key, uh, is a key driver of economic growth and is essential for people across the province. Not only are we connecting people to jobs, but we're connecting them to their friends, family, medical appointments, university, and so much more. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Minister Sarkaria for today's exciting announcement. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you to my parliamentary assistant, Tardeep Graywall, for that very kind introduction and for all that you do to keep uh, people moving across Ontario. As the cost of everything from groceries to gas goes up, our government knows that many families are feeling the pinch in their wallets. The last thing they need to see is another unnecessary fee or toll coming their way. We have a responsibility to build Ontario and ensure people have convenient and affordable transit and the housing and infrastructure they need. With our province's population expected to grow by 5 million over the next 10 years, we can't afford not to. That is why our government is on a mission to keep costs down for families and businesses. First, we scrap the tolls on highways 412 and 418, a move that will save drivers $68 million between 2022 and 2027. Today, we're taking that one step further. I am pleased to announce that our government is introducing legislation that would, if passed, ban tolls on provincial highways. That would not only apply to the DVP and Gardner Expressway, only minutes away from here, but also to the province's 400 series highways. It's not only families that benefit from fewer tolls. Road tolls add to the price of commercial goods, and that cost is then reflected in the prices you see on store shelves. In fact, there are jurisdictions today in North America proposing tolls that would cost drivers $5,000 a year. Keeping tolls off our roads is a win-win for families and our economy. Our government will always put taxpayers first, which is why the bill I will introduce in the coming days will make the current freeze on driver's license and Ontario photo card fees permanent. Our freeze has saved Ontarians $22 million since 2019 and it will save drivers $66 million more this decade. Our focus is not just on saving drivers more money, but also on saving them time. In 2022, our government announced we were eliminating the license plate sticker fee, saving vehicle owners $120 a year per car or truck every year. Now, as the Premier has said, we will be automating the license plate renewal process starting this summer which will save vehicle owners more than 900,000 hours each year. The automatic renewal process will only be available to drivers in good standing who do not have outstanding tickets or related fees, and municipalities will still be able to use the renewal process to collect outstanding fees. Work is also moving ahead on Highway 413 and the Bradford Bypass, which will be toll-free and bring much needed relief to one of the most congested traffic corridors in North America, shortening travel times by 30 minutes each way. I understand the frustrations of gridlock firsthand. Each minute not spent in the car means another minute you can spend with the people you love. That's why we're also investing $70 billion over the next decade to transform public transit in the province. And I'm proud to say Shovels are already in the ground to build new subways like the Ontario Line, Scarborough Subway Extension, 
and Eglinton Crosstown West extension. We're also making rapid progress to deliver critical light rail transit projects, including Finch West and the Hazel McCallion Line in Mississauga. Just last week, the Premier announced we're expanding the Hazel McCallion LRT by building the Mississauga Loop and extending the line to downtown Brampton and delivering faster two-way all-day go service on the Milton Corridor. No matter where you live, families deserve the peace of mind that they won't have to break the bank getting to and from work. Since day one, Premier Ford and our government have been focused on building a transportation network that will meet the needs of hardworking people of Ontario today and for generations to come. Thank you. We'll now go to questions. If reporters could line up at the microphone behind me, please identify yourself by name and outlet, and it will be one question, one follow-up. First question, please. Hi, Minister. Good morning. Um, honestly, I just have one question for you. Uh, when exactly will this new uh, legislation come to place? Sorry, could you repeat that? My apologies. Sure. Sorry, is it working? So, sorry, when exactly will the new legislation come to place? Uh, we'll be uh, introducing this new uh, piece of legislation next week uh, when we uh, resume the House uh, uh, legislation, as I said, focused on, on keeping costs down for families, uh, making sure we put more money into your pockets, ensuring that there will never be tolls in this province, uh, and putting more money into your pockets, uh, like re removing tolls off the 412 and 418 that the province, uh, the Premier did last year. Um, it's really important for us to do that, uh, and we're going to start our legislative agenda by ensuring the people of this province know that we stand with them and that we stand to keep costs down and taxes low. Well, thank you. Hi, Minister Siobhan Moore, CTV. I'm wondering how the 407 fits into this equation because if there are, of course, already tolls on it, the province doesn't own it, what's the plan for the 407? Well, look, the 407 is a pri private entity. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, the, the province's uh, infrastructure, uh, like uh, the DVP, uh, the Gardner, uh, the 400 series highways. Uh, it's important, uh, you know, at a time uh, when we see uh, costs uh, being an issue for families across this province, we look at other jurisdictions across the world. You know, New York is looking at introducing a toll of $5,000 almost per year that it would uh, uh, cost a driver. Uh, we want to be certain to give certainty to the people of this province that uh, our province, uh, in the, under the leadership of Premier Ford, won't be doing that. It's about keeping costs low. That's why we removed uh, the $120 fee per car uh, or truck uh, uh, through the Premier Ford's leadership as well. Um, and that's what we'll continue to do, whether it's fighting the carbon tax or taking uh, the, the tax off of fuel by over 10 cents, uh, delivering more relief to families. Um, this is our, our intention, and uh, uh, the people of this province deserve that certainty. And on the... Um automatic renewals how do people we've heard a lot of people the last few days ask how am i supposed to know if i am in good standing if i do have outstanding parking tickets 407 tolls that sort of thing uh well uh, uh there is the, the process in, in which, uh, uh, as we said, the automatic renewal will only kick in for those individuals uh, who are in good standing. Uh, so no outstanding uh, fines, uh, no outstanding uh, fees uh, from uh, municipalities, for example, uh, on tickets. Um, you know, often the, those partners are, are sending in, uh, the letters uh, to individuals, uh, individual households. Um, we work with municipalities and agencies already to ensure that information is up to date. Uh, so we'll work with uh, both law enforcement, uh, we'll work with uh, individuals across the sector um, and make, it, make sure it's uh, important to, uh, as that part uh, of that process. So we'll, we'll continue to do that and uh, that renewal will only be reflected on the members that are in good standing. Clara Pasica, Clara Pasica, CBC. So many people who do live in the GTA, they might be hearing, hearing this announcement and have you know, maybe some jealousy if they do take the 407. Is there any talk at all about lowering some of those fees given the economic times we're in? Well, look, as I said, that's a, a private entity. We're looking at uh, ensuring that we deliver relief to drivers uh, in Ontario. That's what this piece of legislation is bringing forward. Everything that we have done as a government has been focused on keeping costs down for families. Now, whether that's uh, the initial removal uh, of the $120 off the Val tags, 
whether that's uh, reducing uh, the gas tax by, by 10 cents a litre for, for families across this province, um, or whether that's uh, making sure that we're building more highways across this province. We want to make sure uh, that we're giving people uh, choice, re reducing gridlock uh, across this province and putting more money uh, back into the pro uh, their pockets. That's also why we're legislating the freeze on uh, on photo ID cards and driver's licenses uh, through legislation as well because we know how important it is to put more money back into your pockets and give drivers across this province more certainty. This will be the last question. So if you're someone who does have, you know, a birthday in the next couple months, you're expecting to need to renew different things as the way renewals uh, often work for uh, provincial cards and that sort of thing. What uh, exactly would you tell people about, about timing if they are supposed to have a new renewal coming up? Well, look, we're have, looking to have uh, this implemented by the summer, but as we have uh, mentioned in our, our previous releases, uh, uh, we're still expected to renew your license until that uh, comes into place. So we'll have more to say on that in the coming uh, weeks and months. Um, but this is the first step in making sure uh, that uh, we are uh, doing the automatic renewal. You know, this is going to actually save uh, people almost 900,000 hours um, a year. Uh, so it's, a, it's about uh, uh, supporting people, uh, it's about putting more money back into your pockets, uh, and it's about keeping costs down in this province. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.